So Walt and Simon's like, control your rumors, you idiots. You schmucks. Hey guys, Kieran here. I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Deus Ex. And we're here at the Hell's Underground Bar thing in Hell's Kitchen. We got some quests goals. We got to meet Stanton and Dowd at the Osgood and Son storefront near the tunnels leading to the warehouse district. And we got to kill the traitor Joe Green in the free clinic. So, uh, yeah. We'll check these ATMs, see if they've got anything in them. But yeah. Of course they've got terminal hack. Right, that terminal was hacked, there was no money in it. Again, no money. So they're taking everyone's money away? Probably. Public access computer. Declaration of Martial Law. Effective immediately, all citizens of New York City are hereby informed that at the request of Governor Walpole, Walpo, President Meade has declared martial law to be in effect for Manhattan and surrounding boroughs. Until further notice, the affected areas are under the authority of Federal Emergency Management Administration, who will work with UNETCO and local law enforcement to eliminate the terrorist threat that has paralyzed the city in the past week. Walton Simon's right. This is an extreme measure one undertaken with the utmost gravity, but it is not a necessary step to ensure the safety of the citizens of New York, said Walton Simons, director of FEMA. I can only stress that it is a temporary situation that will be resolved as quickly as possible. <laughs> Citizens are advised that a curfew has been instituted from 9pm to 7am. Further details will follow. JC Denton. Most wanted. Oh god, I'm famous. Citizens of New York are warned to be on the lookout for the terrorist JC Denton, also known as Keering Padlock. <laughs> Denton, a terrorist leader, is wanted in conjunction with a number of crimes, including the recent attack at UNACO headquarters, the bombing of the Versalife building in Hong Kong, and the murders of Juan Ivan Ivan Vic Lebedev, UNACO agent Agent Anna Navarra, and UNACO director Joseph Mandeli. I didn't kill Mandeli. And I didn't kill Levadev. I tried, but it didn't. <laughs> Anna Navarra, yes I did. I just said she was a something woman and she exploded. Then Ern is approximately six feet tall, with silver facial tattoos and solid blue eyes, the result of a genetic condition usually concealed by a pair of sunglasses. He is armed and extremely dangerous. If you believe you have seen or know someone answering to this description, do not attempt to engage them, but immediately report them to the nearest FEMA, UNETCO, or police presence. Hmm. Um, oh my god, that description's me. I should phone the police. As per FEMA Public Health Directive 27, all bodies are to be cremated immediately upon expiration. To facilitate this process, a new crematorium has been opened in Yankee Stadium. However, citizens are asked to not transport bodies themselves, but contact, contact appropriate health officials at emergency services. NYNet.3... What's it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If they require assistance, failure to comply with any FEMA directive is punishable by minimum sentence of three years in jail. <laughs> oh yeah, you you keeping your dead granny's corpse in the living room? Three years in prison, or a fine of ten thousand credits. Until further notice, all city, state, and County offices are closed and the following services are suspended. Public schools, municipal buses, garbage service, road maintenance. In addition, all air travel 
to and from John F. Kennedy International Airport and LaGuardia has been cancelled. Mm. Transit disruptions. As a result of terrorist action, several subway stations are now closed to traffic. 18th Street, Battery Park, York Street, Clark Street, High Street, Queens Bridge and Queens Borough. 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 I don't care. Um, and uh, Pelham Green Line from Elder to Middleton. Alternative routes will be posted at or near affected stations or can be found at on transit. NYNet 002.32323 Note that district passes will be strictly monitored to prevent unauthorized travel and curfew will be observed at all stations throughout the greater metropolitan area. So, New York's gone to shiz, basically. And we gotta try and make a way. I reckon to the free clinic first. Which, to be honest, this isn't the way. Definitely not. Is Smuggler still in? Let's go the other way. Let's go out the back again. Why am I stealthing in here? I'm perfectly safe. I'm actually... This is the, probably the safest place for me, because I don't care. Right. Ah, oh, my throat really hurts after all that reading. Shadows. I know. Okay. We need to get into the free clinic. Incorrect inform. Uh, uh, attach. Streets clear. No danger. What? Who's this? Who are you? Seriously, who's this guy walking over to me? Oh god. Food of the gods! Ambrosia, the mythical food of the gods, may in fact be something more than a myth. It may be a cure for the mysterious grey death that has been infected the city with sickening dread over the past several months. What is this ambrosia and where does it come from? Speaking on the condition of anonymity, anonymity, highly placed sources have revealed in an exclusive to the Midnight Sun, that Ambrosia is a government code name for the cure to the plague that has already taken many lives. Unfortunately, the manufacturing process appears to yield only small amounts of Ambrosia, which have so far been prioritised for have ranking government officials and a select group of industry leaders. It's a matter of money and connection, said the source. They sim this, there simply isn't enough to go around. If such allegations are true, then it goes far beyond the terrible events of the recent memory it is evidence of systemic corruption that rises to the highest ranks of President Meade's administration a callous disregard for human life that must and will be opposed Joe Green, senior staff writer are you Joe Green? Let's just see. A fuck. Uh -huh. What's up? What's up? What 
What's up, dude? Free click. Getting out of here. Right. We're going in here. Why are the chairs the wrong way? The computer's unguarded. Hmm. Any good? Any goods? Jay, stay home. I'm going to take the staff individually, but. War zone. Oh, God. Uh, something about downtime. You could read. Oh, God. Hey, hey, Coleman. How you holding up? I'm fine, just fine. Come on, we're safe in here. How long are we gonna be safe, Ike? They're just shooting people for no reason. Don't you worry, this'll all pass. Sure it will. Hey, what? I don't, I just, when I don't need to heal. But seriously, 4,000 credits of this. This would have cost you 4,000 credits to get in here. I'll just wait. Have we read this? Beth declared millionaire, philanthropist, oh, activist, and famously reputed to be the mistress of French president Alan Berger's mandatory <laughs> Monroy was today posthumously awarded the position of Chevalier in Ord Royal de la Dubidou honor <laughs> created by Napoleon Bonaparte in on May 19th, 1802, the Legion of Honor is still an order of merit to which all qualified military personnel or civilians can be nominated without regard to birth or religion, provided that they swear to uphold liberty and equality. The award was not without some controversy as members of the Republican Social Union for French Democracy party disputed the merit based on her involvement in the small scandal that rocked the Sarah administration five years ago. Beth Duclair passed away in September, found dead at a shadow of natural causes. She, su she was survived by her daughter. who has been missing since her mother's death. Police currently have no leads to her whereabouts. The award was accepted to, on Beth Declare's behalf by the president. Hmm. So what, she was awarded something, but she's dead. How can you award a dead person something? I don't know. Weekly report. Okay, it's a weekly report. Pause if you want to read it. A soak from Walton Simons, rumor control. So Walton Simons like, control your rumors, you idiots, you schmucks. Hello, bum. Hi, bum. There's talk that you're a spy. A spy? For whom? Your mom. I just want to hear your side of the story. You aren't a reporter at all. You work for your NICO. Let's be nice to him and then kill him. I just want to hear your side of the story. So, am I working for the CIA or FBI? You tell me. Either way, they'd have me wearing a better suit. I'll take that as a denial. Something newsworthy about the clinic tonight? I interviewed the doctors, poker-faced as politicians. Didn't even blink when you say the word ambrosia. Maybe they think you're talking about the food of the gods. I'm serious. 
Don't believe the stories coming out of Hong Kong that the government had a cure all along? <laughs> Could be. Hey, you're a reporter. Heard the name Stanton Dowd. Hey, you're a reporter. Heard the name Stanton Dowd. Dowd? Sure, used to be a big importer, right? Thinking of starting a business? I just need to find him. Yes. In some kind of trouble? Do you know him or not? Afraid I don't know how to contact him. I thought he was dead, actually. What, like, um... Here, here it goes. What, like you? Do-do-do. Yeah. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. No one saw me. These guys didn't. Oh! He's dead! Did he have anything on him? That's the question. Sorry, guys. It's fine. Safe. I won't hurt you. Oh, no. Better hide his body. Right. <laughs> We're leaving. And we did complete that goal, so that's good. So we now got to get to Stanton Dowd. Dum 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 dum. Oh. Okay. This will be this will be Dodge, a Dodge Charger, Dodge Neon. Will it be exciting like a Dodge Charger, or will it be boring like a Dodge Neon? I don't know. I need to get over that side, don't I? That's a fug. Son of a... Uh oh. Holy. Right. Keep looking. I could have sworn. Okay, we got to sneak around. Sneak around. Sneak around. Sneak up, sneak up to get down. Oh. Someone else will pick him up. Is that that is that building? That's the warehouse building. It's a ruined. Oh, there's that fug. I don't trust him now. Get off the wall. Even though it's green. Gotcha. Right, we're in. Yeah, this is that basement. What's left of it. Hi. Starting down. Stun. Stun. St Sir? He ain't talking to me. You doubt? Ah. I agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, Council on Foreign Relations types. <laughs> we always stayed in the background. Even when that was true. You all right? <clears throat> Caught this damn plague myself. <clears throat> anyway, we never had troops like Majestic 12 or freighters full of bioweapons, if, <clears throat> if what you say is accurate. It's accurate. I just don't know where the freighter would dock. They'll want to hide it. 
The only facility big enough on the East Coast <coughs> is the advanced submarine facility at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyards. Of course. That's why FEMA took it over. <coughs> They're probably storing the virus in the ship's diesel tanks. The only way to make sure... <coughs> it's... <coughs> the only way to make sure it's destroyed will be to scuttle the ship. Scuttle a super freighter? <coughs> it can be done. If you know where to place the charges. <coughs> Smugglers should have explosives that will work. I already have some explosives. I'd pick up some more while I have the chance. But if you think you're equipped, then find your pilot and get going. You sure you're all right? <sighs> I'm hanging in there. If you come across some ambrosia on that ship, however... <coughs> Don't worry. I'll get you some medicine. I'll give you a blueprint of the ship. <coughs> The X's mark the five trihull wells. <coughs> Crack those up. <coughs> Reverse the bilge pumps, and the ship will split open like a banana. A banana. Okay. I hear a robot. God. Can you won't let me through? The Stanton, can you move? Thank you. Thank you, Stanton. Tong told me he found an interesting molecular signature on the virus. <laughs> a clue to who developed it. Uh-oh. MJ-12 troops converging on your position, JC. I'll land the copter on the roof of the Ton. Get out of there. <laughs> Running. Oh. Why don't you press F7? Um, 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 frozen? Crashed. Nice! Riot Cop 08 NYC Street, Riot Cop 1. Okay. Get ready to run. That's the one. MJ Take off. Troops converging on your position, JC. I'll land the copter on the roof of the town. Get out of there. This is the. Hey! I see him. Huh. Running. Running. God. Oh. Where is? We're out. Oh. Forget supplies. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, dearie me. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll forget the supplies. I'll have to find some more lambs or whatever later. I do know what's coming up. I actually quite like this level. They're shooting at me. Or well, the camera, anyway. New York City, Brooklyn Naval Shipyard, Subbury Warfare Division. Okay. See you later. Um. You're past the fence. Good. Up ahead are the barracks. You need to gain entry to the base and eventually reach the large building to the north. Keep your eyes open for the ammo storage facility. You need to load up on explosives. Hello? You must be Denton. Who's asking? Our buddy Vinny said to expect you. Think you can find out what's going on in there? Go for it. Is FEMA really running the show? 
Bima and the Chinese. I don't like the smell of it one bit. Me either. This key will open the main gate. The guard just inside the main building entrance will let you pass. But don't expect any hospitality from the FEMA people. Okay. Don't expect any hospital hospital to the lily. There's always guards and security bots. Hi. You came in on the chopper? You must be with the DC people. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at the newspaper. Search intensify for terrorist leader intensifies. I think I've read this. Or maybe I haven't. UNATCO is working closely with FEMA and other international security agencies around the world to apprehend Keering Padlock, a terrorist with ties to a number of groups including NSF, Silhouette and Organised Crime in Hong Kong. Oh no. Um, we believe him to be responsible for organising the leading attack on Liberty Island and the deaths of a number of UNADCO agents, said Walton Simons, director of FEMA. The necessity of instituting martial law in New York, unheard of in America, in the history of America, is directly attributable, attributable to the criminal elements operating under his orders. Simons went on to say, that the evidence recovered from a recent bombing of the Versalife building in Hong Kong demonstrates Kiri Madlock's involvement beyond a shadow of a doubt and points towards an organised, systematic campaign of terror designed to extort freedom from politically dangerous ideologies through any means necessary. Authorities are also seeking any information on the whereabouts of Alex Jacobson or Brian Jock Flanag Flanagan key figures in the terrorist organization. Oh. Ooh. What's down here? Now we could go through the front gate, but they'll be expecting that. These sewers run to the submarine building. You can be sure the military has rigged these passages with detectors and booby traps. Begun planning your future objectives. Dow will be sending you to Paris. Make sure he gives you the current residence of his associate, Morgan Everett. I do not have access to that information. We're going to Paris next. Okay. Well, oh. After we've done this, our glo oh god. After we've done this, our globe trotting adventure becomes even more globe trotty. Oi! Damn it. That way doesn't look fun. Hmm. Right. Um. Right. Okay. Boop. Okay. Make a break for the darkness. But yeah, now seems actually like the perfect time to call today's episode. So yeah, we'll hide under this truck. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, all that usual YouTube shiz is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and um, doodle pipski.